What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over the highlights of the final day from the Party Poker Millions UK main event. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. So active, very fun to watch, creative player. Food, Frederick? Omelette. With pineapple. <laughs> a little breakfast for Frederick. Oh, I forget to ask her. Bring the man an omelette. Do you have pineapple on your pizza? Uh, I, normally not, but... Uh, pizza on his good. pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jeff, I'm a big pizza guy. I am not putting a piece of pineapple. <laughs> oh, I would lo I'd love it. Pie. I love the pineapple on the pizza. I like pineapple, but I won't put it on my slice of pizza. Absolutely not. Why? You don't want to make it better? No, it's not. Uh, just stop it. <laughs> you want to get a fruit salad, go get a fruit salad. Don't put it on your pie. I'm not surprised we differ on this. Wine Shouldn't even be talking wine. about food. How long are you fasting today? Another probably nine hours or so. It's going to be easy. I'm gonna it's going to be easy today on this action-packed day. You haven't stopped eating since we got here. Nope. Anton flops top pair, Ludo flops a pair of tens. And the backdoor straight draw. Anton leads for the minimum, 1.2 million. Yeah, already danger for Ludo. We can't rule out all kings, but unlikely that our opponent has top pair. We feel very good right now with a 10. Just come along for the ride, yep. let it develop. This is what makes Anton so dangerous. We just have to pay this sort of player off the money. Perhaps he wore this velvet shirt to match the largest chips in play. Mm, those gold one Very million fitting. chips. Smart. 4.2. And here we go. It's going to size this thing up, and now it is just a sickening spot for Ludo. Uh, I think our hand is still, frankly, too good. It would be a hero fold giving up a 10 at this spot against this particular opponent. Could he have simply turned some equity that he's barreling off with? Ludo calls again. That was 4.2 million. It's a safe river for Anton. 14.8 million in this pot. Likely to get all three streets here. I'd like to see something close to 5 million. Steady checks. Oh, this is just very, very nice. Ludo, Ludo. happy to check yeah, back. I'm thrilled. Anton shows down the winner. Crucial pot there for Anton Suarez. Absolutely heard a flat and he showed me exactly why a three bet can be so profitable yeah he, at times can force a better hand to fold but clearly i just didn't think that ludo came here to race fold ace jack from the cutoff opening hand of the day when you start with under 20 bigs but here we are and in that hand ludo probably yeah, thinking what you were thinking that that three bet just looks yeah, remarkably strong he wouldn't do that with a king jack yeah and how about that this <laughs> yeah. is Eights for Christian, nines for Anton. Christian opens. Anton starting the hand with 34 million. Yeah, and I think Christian here, if Anton does move all in with two nines, <laughs> Christian I think has the bottom of his calling range with two eights. It's probably eights plus. And just a call. Did he let him off the hook here, Jeff? He did. He does just make the call. Wow. <clears throat> Kings again for Frederick. Oh, my goodness. Is Anton going to find a way off the hook? Boy, I don't know, Jeff. This is this has got blood written all over it. No doubt about to get ugly. And this is going to be Frederick's third three bet in the last 25 minutes or so. Frederick, the lion. It's 
like 10.5 million. This is brutal for Christian if he ever suspects Anton. And I don't think he gives Anton credit for flatting right. nines, tens, nines plus, really. I'm telling you, this is major trouble for Christian Rudolph. The point that you made about Frederick being so active with his early three bets, and wow, that is a fantastic a fold. fold. Can Anton find that same terrific laydown? Time bank granting him an additional 30 seconds tack. I give him so much credit for giving it this much thought, and he, if he settles on a fold, Jeff, I'm going to be blown away. High level, top shelf poker on display. Wow. He does lay down the nines. You guys don't like to play hands today. Who's that? Cut it off. I don't like to play hands. I think we're in the handcuff with the fucking average. <laughs> when Ludo would move into second place on Scotland's all-time money list. Okay, and behind who again, John? Behind Neil Farrell. Oh. Neil Farrell. Oh. Oh. The he would pass David Van Plew with a win today. Whistle Camel. Whistle Camel, man. They had no, no Joe Benson's. What'd you get, Sterling? I can't say anything. I'm smoking rollies, so. I'm sorry. I don't know. Ludo opens to 2.4 million with the Jack-10 off. He's nine for Frederick on the button. My goodness, is he really going yeah, to do it Yeah, is he going to line it up one more time? No. Christian will defend in the big with the 7-4. Comes Jack 8-7. Bottom pair for Christian, top pair for Ludo with a gut shot. If I'm Christian, I don't love it, but I'm not ready to give up quite yet. Plan on calling and taking a look at another street. Ludo with the gut shot. Obviously, top pair. Can't really fathom he'd ever consider checking back. How about this? 1.2. Yeah, Very small sizing. Does check call. And does turn a seven. Disaster now for Ludo. However, that being said, Christian does have all the sevens and all the eights, right? This lead and is all going the diamonds to be as well. Brutal. Yeah, this is a this is a very, very difficult lead now for Ludo to consider getting away. Christian does lead here for 2.8 million. Also on the smaller side. Ludo with about 19 behind. There are certainly hands that maybe Christian would consider taking this line with as a bluff, something like 5-6 with a diamond. 
representing the sevens for the point that I mentioned above. She certainly should have all of that. And uh, this type of run out is going to cost Ludo some more chips. River Queen of Spades, 14.6 million in the pot. Ludo is 16.4 million behind. Christian Rudolph with trip sevens. Time extension used. Would he consider an overbet here? Putting Ludo all in. He's gonna, looks like 6.2 million is what he slid out. Just a brutal spot now. I hate it if I'm Ludo. Obviously he does too in the moment. It's nothing but a bluff catcher. Maybe 10-6, 9-6, 5-6, all, ha all hands that have a diamond. Did he get lucky with a queen? You have to wonder if maybe queen 10, queen 9 mm -hmm. would take this sort of line as well if it had a diamond. It doesn't look like he has any time banks left. How about this? The raise from Ludo. Wow. Oh, this is filthy. Turns his hand into a bluff, makes it 12.5 million. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jeff, we are seeing something special here. The 10 in his hand can represent the 9-10. For all the times that we are up against 7x, we just try and put those hands in hell. This is just gorgeous stuff by Ludo. It may work. Those sevens in a bad spot, and like you said, also if he did queen. have queen nine or queen ten, yeah. something like that. The diamond. Christian's hand may just be a little too good, yeah. given the price. You're trying to fucking me off. <laughs> <laughs> Ten months you didn't know. Shouldn't raise it. <coughs> so it's like Jack, Minbet, seems weird on that bot as well. No, he, he's pinpointed so it, it he's seems. He's trying to induce something, but Jack doesn't profit that much. Seven, no, eight. Doesn't make sense. And clean, no, it's a bit big. Flush rush, you should check always. All the time. Like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> For your last one, right? So yeah. I, know, I had no idea. <laughs> what I'm uh, representing, I don't represent a flush. Because I'm not betting polarized. Um, <laughs> I'm representing a seven from bluffs as well. I know you're capable of bluffing there, so I think I can't do the seven here. I have to call it. Well, he talked his way through that wow. one and ended up with the correct call. Oh my goodness! Well How done, about that? Christian Rudolph, and put on a clinic for all of us at home as well. Thank you for the perfect commentary. That Christian was fantastic. Rudolph. What a breakdown of that hand from Christian Rudolph. Impressive. How much do we owe you for the lesson? <laughs> How much do we owe you for the lesson? Yeah. I normally don't teach. So. <laughs> Important note at the end when he said, I know you're capable of this block. Yeah. They both read each other pretty well on that one. Ludo at Jack-10, under the gun. About three and a half bigs. Four million? 
Gonna make it four million, leaving one chip behind. Folds around to Anton with the queen four. All in. He says all of it. No jump. Ludovic Gailik, all Fitting. in and at risk. Fitting with yeah. Jack-10. Good luck, Ludo. Good luck. With the Jack-10 against the Queen-4 of Anton Suarez. Ludo, the slight underdog. Can the Party Poker Team Pro find a way to stay alive? Comes King three deuce. Two, three. Yeah. Chop. <laughs> Might be. Some backdoor chop I outs. Think they come dead anyway, that's good. Ace on the it turn. Good, Nine good. outs now for Ludo. Needs a queen, a jack, or a ten on the river to stay alive. Nice it's a three on the river. See ya. Good luck, Bowser. Cheers, mate. Ludovic Gaelic. Party Poker Team Pro out of Scotland, out in 11th. Another impressive run for him at a Millions main event. Nice fella. It's Mickey May, our photographer in the background. Exceptional work throughout the week by her and by our Poker Central live reporting team. Frank Optor, Jen Mason. They're also covering the Millions 10K High Roller today. All right, Jamie, on the button here. 18 million, chance to get back into this thing. Grip, rip. I have to imagine this is going all in. Maybe considering taking a play out of Ludo's book where you simply not feel obliged to play for all of it. Could min race, maybe induce. Ace 10 is pretty strong on the button when you're five handed. Could certainly get called by worse as well. King Queen, King Jack, Ace 9 from the big line. Another time bank used. Players do get extra time banks when we're down to nine. I have to wonder, too, if maybe you take a little bit extra time just in case some chaos occurs oh, up sure. above. Give yourself an opportunity to win $20,000 more. That is the pay jump from 10th to 9th. It's probably the right play. Will he use all of them? He's committed himself. Oh Christian with ace king in the small blinds. Oh, this is just brutal. You have to feel bad for Jamie O'Connor. Maybe he'll get lucky here. Jeff, this is just sick. The shove from him and ace queen oh of diamonds for goodness. Alex in the big. What is going on? Whoa, he puts his chips gosh. in. Gosh, and now with yeah, Jamie with the consider. Jump. Using that time bank, I mean, how can you with all that money yeah, out there? Yeah, and he puts Just... the chips in with the ace-10, wow. a three-way all-in. Jamie O'Connor and Alex Lindop are at risk. How much you got? Christian Rudolph ahead with the ace-king. Alex well, with ace-queen of diamonds. <laughs> Jamie with ace-10. <laughs> Jamie does have Alex covered here Just as well. <laughs> True, so if they're both eliminated, it would be Jamie finishing in ninth, Alex finishing in 10. Right. Not looking good for a strike. <laughs> Flop comes 974 rainbow. So far, so good for Christian Rudolph, who for now is just looking to dodge a queen or a 10. 
to scoop all of it. Or he could just turn a king, and both Alex and Jamie are dead. And just like that, we are down to eight. The double elimination for Christian Rudolph. The Irish Boker Open. That main event win last year, the Turbo win in 2018. James with the Ace Queen of Diamonds. He entered the day as the chip leader. Came in with about 78 million, down to 58 million after losing that flip against James Clark to his right. He's the lone American out here, Jeff. And despite that, here's your stat of the day. James Romero, his entire bio, all of those caches. Mm -hmm. All of his money won 42% of the time outside of the United wow. States. And he is, he is a grinder, a world traveler. Firing at every stop. Oh. Romero, the globe trotter. James Clark with sevens in the big blind. Once again, the James gang, they will collide. Nine, six, three, rainbow. James's, James Clark's sevens are ahead. <laughs> Backdoor flush draw for James Romero. Very curious to see how Romero elects to proceed here. Betting here would have to set up a two barrel depending on the texture. Obviously we do have the backdoor diamonds. 2.6 million. There we go, 2.6. James Clark not going anywhere with pocket sevens. Oh. Does make the call. King of spades on the turn. And this is the perfect card now for Romero to continue to tell his story, suggesting that he has a king, perhaps as strong as ace king. Believe we need to bet here. Door is wide open. Got a half pot size bet of 7.2 million from James Romero. Gonna put some pressure on James Clark. Excuse me? These two played with each other throughout the day yesterday as well. Back sat next to each other then. James Clark lays it down. Well done, James Romero. Yeah. Wonderful execution. All designed and set up by that continuation bet, allowing him to fire on a favorable turn card. Massive coin flip on the line for Maria, no doubt. Maria Lampropoulos, the inaugural Millions main event winner. All in for 19.9 million. The call from Jack Hardcastle. Here we go, Maria all in and at risk with the ace queen of clubs. Forty-three million in this pot. Maria's tournament life on the line. Comes Jack 10 3 to open up some outs for Maria, who now needs to find an ace, king, or queen. Deuce of hearts on the turn. Maria looking to become the first two time Millions main event winner. To keep that dream alive, she'll need to find an ace, king, or queen. It does not come on the river. And it's Maria Lampropoulos to a well-deserved round of applause. Out in eighth place, she'll take home $100,000.
and Brent just another fantastic run for her. I'm clapping, you're clapping, the crowd is clapping. Remarkable accomplishment and achievement. Just another six-figure payday for Maria. Career earnings now up over $3.3 million. Mm. Jack with the King Ten of Diamonds. Christian looks down at Queens in the cutoff. is to 11 million. Ace deuce of diamonds for Anton. Volts back around to Jack. Smallish three bet from Christian. Jack comes along. Yeah, wondering if King 10 suited is just a little too good to fold. Player dependent, especially against Christian. Oh boy. Oh, it comes wow. Jack 9 3 with two diamonds. Jack with the flush draw and the gut shot. Christian with the over pair. 27 million in the pot. Jack with 44 million behind. Talk about hitting a flop hard, Castle. Mm. That is nine million. All of it there from Jack. Go. Yeah. Doesn't want to bust here, but wants to get the chips in. You see it. It's about a flip. Christian slightly ahead. Jack looking for a diamond, a queen, or a king. More than 114 million in this pot. Diamond, queen, king. He said it. Wants to find a diamond queen or a king. It's a blank on the turn. 13 outs for Jack Hardcastle to stay alive. River card. It is the 10 of spades. He misses 13 outs twice. That does it for Jack Hardcastle. Great fight, great display of talent. He's out in seven. He'll take home $130,000. And a second place get, Jeff. $620,000. Sign me up. Third place, $420K. I'll take it. Fourth place, $311,000. Oh. Fifth place, two hundred thirty. dollars Yeah, I want that too. You want it all. Man. Everybody here playing. guaranteed $170,000. For a pile of cheese.
All of it from Wei Ji in the small blind with the 7-5. Christian looks down at an ace in the big blind. The shove for 19 bigs. Yeah, I got to tell you, not a fan of the shove here yeah. by Wei Ji. This is a little wide. I know that the percentages will be fine, assuming he gets called. Roughly a 60-40 scenario, but Wei Ji playing for the win. Clearly, 7-5 offsuit. Got almost 20 bigs, man. You don't love it even with Ace-8. You can see that with Christian. Ultimately, I do think he ends up finding a call. We have worse aces that we can assume that may be jamming. Christian does have all the chips, too. He can sort of afford this blow. It's annoying, though. You don't want to just accumulate, accumulate, and then get, lose a pot like this. He's giving Wei Ji credit for shoving a tighter range, probably some smaller pairs, Broadway sort of holdings. The no all in is for 38.4 million. He'd be shocked to see 7 5 off yeah, suit. Yeah, for sure. He does make the call with the ace eight. He is ahead. Weiji Zhang all in and at risk. Seven five. Christian looks to extend his chip lead. Weiji looks to stay alive. Comes 10 9 6. Weiji loses that 7 as an out, picks up an 8. Looking for an 8 or a 5 on the turn. It's an ace on the turn. Weiji down to just 3 outs. Looking for an 8 to stay alive. It doesn't come on the river. <laughs> Wei Shi Zhang out in sixth place. He'll take home $170,000. A smile on his face throughout the week. Handshakes all around. Yeah, that's best hanging there. No. <laughs> Rick has been flatting all of these sorts of hands all day. The only hands he is three bet. Oh boy. Oh, he oh flops boy. a nine. It comes jack nine, six, two spades. James does have the ace of spades, but he is in some trouble here with 41 million behind. Could this spell the end for the man they call Raggy? Frederick considering if he puts in a raise here, he doesn't want to lose James. Maybe it's best to simply just trap and call with the sets. You'd have to be so certain that James has connected or has a hand. So we will just call. 31 million in this pot. An ace oh on the turn. Gosh. An ace from space delivered here for James Clark. Wow. A set of aces versus a set of nines, five-handed. <coughs> at the Party Poker Live Millions UK main event final table. James leads for 10 million. Frederick is so excited right now. He thinks now James finally has a hand and boy does he ever. What a cooler here at this final table. Frederick will use the time bank. Well, 
All in the snap call. You hear the eruption on the rail. If James Clark can dodge a nine, he will double up. So sick indeed. Just one out for Frederick to bust James. It's a queen on the river. The local gets it done. Set over set. Next pay jump. Mentally you feel so defeated. Yeah, yeah. Next pay jump worth $81,000. Everybody guaranteed. At least 230k. 230,000 dollars. You put me on Ace King when he come. You put me on Ace King. When the Ace come. Nine eight of spades for Christian in the cutoff opens. Anton with the King Jack of spades on the button. And we saw him flat this sort of hand before. Expect him to do the same thing. Maybe he does change it up. You can consider three betting, applying pressure to Christian, leveraging the chip leader. You hate to ever really three bet fold a hand as good as King Jack suited, especially when we can play it in position. James getting a great prize. King do suited, obviously a little dangerous anytime you have King or Ace high in these spots. You have to tread very carefully. Three-handed of this flop. Deuce in the window. It comes nine, four, deuce, top pair for Christian. Anton, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Yeah, let there be range sort of wide open for Anton saying, all right, boys, well, I'll bet this board then. No problem. I'm sort of wide open. What did I flat with? Was it nine, eight suited himself? James also with a backdoor flush draw. Pretty difficult for James. I'd probably just consider calling here six million, turn a little equity. How about that? Or just fold. I think Ray's would have been an ultimate disaster. Christian can play his hand quite easily. Top pair, backdoor spades as well. Just call. The turn is the six of spades, flush draws for both. Anton's being the better one. And again, it is now sort of decision time. If we think that Christian is weighed heavily towards just a stubborn ace high holding, two barrels makes a good amount of sense considering the equity we have with that flush draw. He's gonna fire. Looks like 24. Massive pot developing between our two big stacks. Christian trying to make sense of this. What would he be unloading two shells with? Did he turn some equity that he can semi-bluff with? And that is a cause for concern when we have just the nine high flush draw. You may give him credit for just that. Clearly we're not going anywhere. <coughs> More than 79 million in the middle. The oh river is goodness. the queen of spades. It's a flush for both. Oh. Wow. How much does Anton look for here? Another absolute cooler. Has to yeah, call. the check snap call. The bet was for 45 million. Push him push. Perfect run out for you. Yeah. Like the dream spot. The dream spot indeed. That moves Anton to more than 242. Set right on that trophy and that million dollar payday. 
Blind versus blind. Christian looks down at Kings in the small blind. Let's see if he'd ever consider just limping here. Does he always raise? He attacked last time or maybe a couple orbits ago with a very bad hand. And here, look at this. Does set the trap. Two Kings. Don wondering, okay, well, maybe I should just make it 10,000 and take it, huh? Doesn't fall for it. Ten seven five. Anton does flop a pair. At the moment, it's a dream situation for Christian. He checks. Anton has no reason to believe that a seven is an inferior hand. I'm absolutely check raising if I'm Christian. Let's build a pot right now. We have the king of diamonds as well. He's going to call Jeff. Look at this. How call. under wrap. <coughs> Wow. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Christian has the king of diamonds. Let's check, check. Yeah, I think now we know that this man has something. <laughs> king on the river. Set of kings for Christian. Almost a pot size bet on the river from Christian, 11.5 million. Some straight draws did miss. This very well could get paid off. Anton knows that. Nothing but a bluff catcher here. Gosh, should fold. I mean, it is. He's on it today. That's impressive. He really is. I, think I would have liked to see a check raise again on that flop with two kings. 10 7 5. Even if Anton doesn't have anything, that. Just love this kid's decision making. Decision making, James Romero. I'll spit that out eventually, <laughs> Jeff. about the decision for Frederick here with the ace nine of diamonds. Yeah, 12 I think base. there's really only one and that's every single chip in the middle. All of it. Anton with ace 10. We know what's happening here. Anton going to get the count, see the price is right. He's got his man notched. Just over 30 million. Here is the call from Anton. Ace queen for James Romero. Wow. I tell you what, I give Anton credit for not just reshipping in that spot, simply just a call, 30,000. And here's exactly why. For the times that by chance Romero wakes up and moves in over the top, we can get off of it. What a spot here for Romero. Fires in a time bank, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. 81K pay jump from fifth to fourth. Oh my. And he lays it down. He's not going to like to see these hands. Look at him, brother. I am 
surprised to see the fold. Maybe ICM wise, yeah. Jeff, it's the right play. I just don't know. Had to be really close. Well, it's Frederick Anderson all in and at risk. His tournament life on the line with the Ace Nine of Diamonds against Anton's Ace Ten, Swede versus Swede. Comes Jack Five Three with no diamonds. Frederick looking for a nine. It does not come on the turn. A couple chop outs though, the four comes. They will both have a wheel. Anton looking to bust Frederick. And he does with a five on the river. Well, that'll do it for Frederick Anderson. We've seen plenty of him throughout the week. He was fun to watch. A hug for his fellow countrymen. And out the door, out in fifth, $230,000. Yeah, career best score for Frederick Anderson. A little sweet on sweet violence. He's in third right now with four left. Jeff, do you own any velvet shirts? No. You own any velvet articles of clothing? No. Do you? Yes. I, I certainly do. You do. have that purple velvet jacket yeah, that you wore I, I during the Poker Masters. Plenty of velvet. Yeah, that was that in was my a good closet. Look. And now I know what to get you as a gift. No, I'm I'm good, thank you. Oh, you'd look good in velvet, any color. <laughs> Oh my. Oh I my do goodness. quite like How Anton's shirt, and I do like his hand here. Anton and James flop trip fours. The one time he doesn't make it 10 million, this happens. Well, the Rowdy Rail is not going to be thrilled with these proceedings. Anton check calls flop, leads here on the turn. A sizable lead at that. That's 12.5 million. Get ready for it, Jeff. It's about to get rowdy. James with 71 million behind. All of it. All in and a call. 5-4 for the man they call Raggy, 9-4 for Anton. The crowd was silenced quickly with that news. Plenty of chop outs. James could also spike a five to win outright. James Raggy Clark, the local hero, all in and at risk. River card. It's the queen, so they'll chop it up. No, 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 Jeff, flush. Oh, I completely missed the flush draw. Yeah, flush draw. Well played. Well, good game to James Clark, out in fourth. Our satellite qualifier takes home three. Makes it 11.5 million, just the gut shot. I really like it, Jeff. I'm not going to lie. We, just a gut shot. We think we're getting a lot of folds here. Should be printing money. When we face resistance, we can uh, perhaps consider shutting it down. Maybe fire one more street if we find the luxury of a favorable turn card by form of club. And this is. And that might not be it. Not Three it. Three spades yeah. on the turn. Forty-two point two million in the pot. He 
is reaching. He is firing. 24 million on the turn. Awfully ambitious, and man, this is heart. The fold from wow. Anton, it gets through with just 10 high. That is Hood right there by James Romero. A ridiculous check raise on the flop, followed up by Anton on the button with Queens. Christian defends in the big blind with the 9-6 of clubs. It comes 8-7 deuce, open-ended straight draw for Christian. Anton bets 7.5 million. Check raise from Christian to 23 million with that open ended straight draw. My, oh my. And if I have two queens here, certainly going to take my time not folding. <coughs> and I would do just this I would call, allow bluffs to remain in contention, and oh. Dear. The five ball rolls off on the turn. It's the five of hearts. Anton does have the queen of hearts. Straight for Christian. 63 million in this pot. I'll bet 18 million. Once again, if I'm Anton now with the Queen of Hearts, you just have to call. Can't assume that all flush draws have check raised me. I am worried about the straight. Anton does call. Almost 100 million in the middle. Three of spades on the river. Christian's hand is best. And decision time. Christian likely. Did he just check, Jeff? He did. He did check. He's going to let him off the hook here. He is. Anton deciding if he should just bet for value here with two queens now. And it looks like he might. this is going to work out just fine for him. Wow. And it's was way too good to fold if you're Christian with this, with the straight. If he has a flush, you just have to pay him the yeah. money. The bet is for 45 million. 45. Queens. Straight. Says, Whoops. Here comes Christian Rudolph, not just back in contention, but our new chip leader. Certainly is. I'm not sure I like the value bet there on the river. Tenth place finisher at the World Series of Poker main event in July, Robert Idorn out in 13th. Party Poker Team Pro Ludovic Geilich out in 11th. Jamie O'Connor and Alex Lindop were eliminated on the same hand. Oh, O'Connor, man, did he run into it. A buzzsaw back-to-back -back hands, and oh, boy. King, queen, deuce, a set for Anton, and top pair for James. You know that's my favorite hand, Jeff. 
pocket. Mallards, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. There it is. And what a dream scenario he has here up against the lone American, Mr. Romero. Romero with just 72 million behind. Devastating for Romero at the moment. The raise to 10 million. This is for straight value, obviously, yeah. and this is music to Anton's ears. Makes the call. Uh, perhaps a queen on the turn is the only thing that could really save James here. That is not yeah. it. Yeah, eight of diamonds on the turn, total blank. 27.5 million in the pot. James was 62 million behind. And I don't want to be results oriented because I actually really like his raise to 10 million with King Jack. How often do we see players just simply call with top pair? James is going for max value and obviously we can see he is stone dead. That's 20 million. <coughs> Anton may just move it in here. Could think that James has some sort of straight and flush draw combo. He'd be committed to it. Uses a time bank, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. King X of Diamonds is also still out there. Check calls. James now with 42 million behind. River is the five of spades. James, he, let's see. I, I, I think he may value shove in his mind, yes, just King water, Jack. Water, He's soaking up this texture. Could Sparkling. it be King X of diamonds? Water. Only really afraid of King five of diamonds at this I point in his mind. licking his lips, staring yeah, at him. It almost please. looks like he's, I don't know, but he's trying to suggest like how strong he is, like a reverse. Oh, interesting. Tell. Look at that. You know he's going to just beat him in. There it is. The shove, the call. That will do it for James Romero. Out in third place. He'll take home $420,000. Can we have a five minute break? The second biggest score of his career. And Brent, hard to put into words how impressed we were with Romero's play throughout these last couple days. Once I recognized him in the field and saw that he was in contention just two days ago, I said, keep an eye on this kid, Jeff. Yeah. He is a sp King Queen for Anton here, Ace 10 for Christian. Oh, this. Anton limps in on the button. This very likely could get in. Pretty. Yeah, it really could. King-Queen is good enough. It's not really Anton's style. He's more of a let's see three, let's go to post, let's do a little war, but maybe we limp jam. Around 80-something behind. All in. There it is. There's the shove. Here's the call. Here we go. Christian Rudolph all in and at risk with ace-10 against the King-Queen of Anton Suarez. Suarez looking for the title. Christian looking to get back to over 200 million in chips. His ace 10 slightly ahead.
comes Jack 9 3, all Ooh, hearts. Whoa. Anton has the king of hearts. It is a fair fight. You see, Anton is now actually a slight favorite, even though Christian is ahead at this point. Looking for a king, a queen, a heart, a 10. Another jack on the turn. Can Christian's ace high hold up? All the outs for Anton. River card. It is the three of spades, and the ace high does hold up. What a sweat. Oh, wow. Yeah, both players. Oh, that's about right. And welcome back to this heads up matchup, Christian Rudolph. 8-6-2 clubs. Got shot for Anton. Backdoor flush draw for Christian. Anton fires 18 million. Christian dialing up the check raise. Two Very crafty stuff here by Christian yeah. with the king of clubs, sort of coverage with the king nine, favorable turn cards, allowing us to set up a two barrel. And quite often, this would just work right away. See Anton just trying to make sense of this. What sort of hand would he check raise? Doesn't look done with it. Perhaps if we call, we can take it away on later streets. I just don't think that's a part of Christian's plan. He may not allow you to do just that. Mm -hmm. A lot of appealing turn cards for Christian. Wow. Oh, boy. Coming in for it with just Jack High and the gut shot. Christian will lay it down. Whoa. Phenomenal play from Anton Suarez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kind words about <laughs> Tony Horton. A good man, great program, but he, he makes you work. Christian with Kings here just limps in. Anton checks with the ace four. Seven, seven, three. Check, check. Five on the turn, two-way straight draw for Anton. Now Christian will fire. The call from Anton and the six ball on the river for the straight. He bets 15 million. Christian makes the call. Yeah, if you're going to gonna lose with off. Kings, might as well be the the most minimum. True. Rebounding. To just over 30 bigs. Anton raises with the jack nine. Christian calls with the eight seven. Nine in the window. It comes Whoa. nine six five. Christian flops a straight with a flush draw. Straight flush draw for good measure. Top pair for Anton. It goes check check. Three of spades on the turn. Christian checked. Anton bets. Looks like it's check raise time for Christian. Makes it 46 million. 46 million. Anton has been making 
correct fold wow, after correct fold. Wow, does it again. Fold. Wow. He's folded top pair twice in the last four hands or so. My goodness. Rudolph is going to be a little frustrated when he reviews the tape to see how correct. Oh, it looks like, oh, this. Now, wait a minute, Jeff. Yeah, unfortunately, oh. yeah. Jeff, what I think, I think the Chiefs fumbled the punt return. Oh. Oh, how about this, 7-5-5. Five, five. We'll get to the Chiefs later. Anton flops trips. Christian flops the open ender. Turns sixes and fives. Anton leads for five million. Christian calls and rivers the straight. And there is just somehow very little money in yeah. the middle. Anton going to get away from this without losing too much. He's not considering Make. raising here right now. Oh. One ladder to a straight. Oh, Jeff. Oh, my. Essentially turning this five into a bluff. Wow, makes it 110 million. Oh, this is just sick. I don't think we can fold an eight high straight. This is really tough, but I, the eight high straight is just too good to fold, Jeff. I, I think we have to call it. Certainly looks like it could potentially be a boat. Should be some bluffs mixed in every time we turn maybe a six into a bluff. There it is. It does have a six to block some of those. He'll show the winning hand, and with that, Christian Rudolph takes the chip lead. Don't worry, I'll keep you posted, Jeff, if anything exciting happens. Okay, please do. And again, you have the Chiefs, yeah? <laughs> yes, Jeff, I, okay. I have the I Chiefs. I thought you said that, just wanted to confirm. Yeah. Uh -oh. How about this? Eights for Anton, sevens for Christian. Oh, my. All in and a call. Here we go. Anton Suarez all in and at risk, but in good shape with eights against Christian sevens. Christian looking to get lucky. If he does, he will win this tournament. About a four to one underdog. With the sevens and the seven card stud hat. Comes eight, six, four. So it's top set for Anton, but actually opens up some outs for Christian. He needs a five for a straight. Turn card. It's another six. Eight's full of sixes for Anton. That locks it up. There was that five. Oh, that is not <laughs> fair. And Anton now back on top, regains the chip lead. My it's goodness. Anton with the ace eight, just limps in. The shove from Christian with the seven four of hearts. Anton makes the call and here we go. What is it? Ace eight against seven four. Christian Rudolph all in and at risk. You heard Anton. That's what it looks like. Ace eight for Anton. Seven four of hearts for Christian. Christian Rudolph's tournament life on the line. Ace. Comes king nine, deuce, two diamonds. Anton has the ace of diamonds. 
Christian will need to find a seven or a four. And it's an ace on the that's turn, it. that's it. Ooh, mama. Oh, Ooh. mama indeed. How about that? Isn't it sweet for the Swede? It's his. Anton Suarez adds a signature win to his resume. He wins $1 million. He is your Party Poker Live Millions UK main event champion. Wow, I love the celebration, the emotion. Antoine Suarez, great stuff. Our champion. How's that for your first major title? Awesome, with a bang. I love seeing this. Man. Oh, that's that, that ear to ear great. grin, trophy hoisted high, and hats off there to Christian Rudolph. You know he played great. How about Rob Young? Yeah, a hug from involved. the party poker partner, the owner of Dust Till Dawn. A well-deserved celebration for Anton Suarez, and a great showing overall from Christian Rudolph. Absolutely, another massive score for Rudolph. Takes his career earnings up over two million dollars now. Second place finish, 620k. Still looking for that first live win. He was oh so close once again. Anton can get acquainted with those trophies. The Party Poker Live Millions UK main event champion. He wins $1 million. Just a tremendous showing throughout the week. So impressed by his play. Every decision so quick and fast. Trusted his gut, his instincts. Just so impressive in so many different ways. Of course, there's Jeff Gross. <laughs> A little camera time for JG. So maybe you can see what the table is? I will let you yeah. Well, we hope Anton has an excellent celebration. He'll take some pictures first with the trophies. And then he'll go get paid, Brent, and he'll get paid a lot of money. How about a cool Millie? Oh, man, seven-figure score. Wow, $1.2 million now in earnings. There it is, Anton Suarez, the Millions UK main event champion. He wins $1 million. It is his first major title. Quite the way to kick off 2020 for him. Very good. I'm super happy. Super happy. I don't play many tournaments, so I'm super happy. I've been playing for like 10 years, but I play mostly PLO cash games. That's it. I play fast, right? Yeah, I've never seen PLO. Yeah. Um, I just like to play fast, especially heads up. It's more fun. He played fast as well. Actually, I came here and the first day I was planning to keep play cash games, but there were no cash games, so I hopped into the satellite, won a seat, and uh, here I am. <laughs> yeah, nice. Isn't it sweet for the Swede? It's mine. It's his. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. Today. Thank Enjoy you. Your evening. I will, and, uh, for sure. Well, Thanks. Well if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the best poker videos on YouTube. Make sure to also check out our previous video if you missed it, and let us know in the comments below what you would like to see on the next Fury TV.